President's Surprise by Peter Donnelly, Gill Books, Dublin. Today was a very special day. It was the President's birthday and there was going to be a very big party. The president decided to walk his dogs in the Phoenix Park. All around Orison Oakderon, the president's house, the work began. The president's pigeon flew high up to the rooftop where he hung lots of green, white and orange bunting. Inside, the president's wife planned where everybody would sit. Hmm. We have two guests called Mary, she thought. I'll place one on either side of the president. I'm sure they'll have lots of interesting things to talk about. Outside, the butler was busy polishing the front door. Nice and shiny, that's the way he liked things to look. After all, it was the most important front door in Ireland. Meanwhile, the president stopped off at Farmley House for some tea and scones. Back at the Oris, Mrs. Mullins, the housekeeper, dusted the picture frames. There were lots of famous people on the walls. Maybe her portrait would be up there too, someday. In the kitchen, the two chefs prepared some delicious treats, including a very special birthday cake. Yes, it seemed like everything was going to plan. At the Wellington Monument, the president found a perfect spot to Practice his yoga. Everybody join me. Suddenly, the president's wife noticed the time. Surely the president should be home by now. Where could he have got to, she wondered. Clock goes ding dong. At the front gates, the guests began to arrive. The president's pigeon counted the line of fancy cars as they entered the Oris. There were even presidents from other countries. Inside, the guests waited for the president. They waited and waited and waited, but the president was nowhere to be seen. Where could he have got to? Oh dear, said the president's wife, could the president have forgotten his own birthday party? 
Everybody looked so disappointed when suddenly... Surprise! Out of the birthday cake jumped the president himself. And what a surprise it was too. There was no need to worry after all. The president would never forget his very own birthday party. <laughs>